All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, we got a, a Buell here. We got a Buell XB12 SS, uh, lightning long. So what I wanted to do is just run you through some of the uh, special features and just the uh, signature pieces of the Buell series lightning bike. Um, so first off, uh, what you'll notice is a centralized low engine uh, and a compact frame. So, um, you know, also the undermounted exhaust uh, it's kind of a neat feature, so it keeps the bike uh, balanced, low center of gravity. Um, so it really likes to hit the twisties and turns, and it's a, it's a pretty solid bike in that sense. Um, second feature, uh, you'll notice the large front disc. Uh, basically what that allows um, the engineers to do is uh, have a hollow front rim. Um, so it's more lightweight, but you still get that braking power with that very large disc there. So that is another unique feature to uh, Buell bikes. Uh, third feature uh, that's a little different is uh, the oil is integrated directly to the swing arm. Uh, so if you come around on this side, the oil uh, is part of the swing arm, so it's all integrated. So that is a, a really neat feature uh, the engineers took into account, again, um, to just be efficient with all the parts that they're putting into uh, these Buell bikes. Um, so uh, lastly, uh, again, with the integration piece, the fuel tank is actually built into the frame as well. So not only is the oil uh, built into the frame, so is the fuel tank. And again, that allows the bike to really have that uh, nice, clean, naked style feel to it. Uh, very minimum uh, fairings and parts as far as uh, covering up the beauty of this big V-twin engine. Um, so overall, just a really beautiful beast. Uh, really well engineered uh, and extremely fun to ride. One of the most notable features of this Buell series, uh, the XB12 SS Lightning Long, is this giant v-twin engine here so we got a, a 1200 uh, cc v-twin engine which was modeled uh, from harley davidson as uh, buell and harley had a deal you know they were working together um, so they're able to uh, work off that patent to create this thunderstorm engine uh, really uh, very powerful very grunty torquey engine uh, extremely fast off the line um, and incredibly fun uh, just to rip on that throttle and see what happens all right, so what have I done to my Buell to make it a little bit unique, a little bit different than other Buells that are out there on the street? Uh, so let me run you through some of those modifications. All right, first up, we got the bar ends here. Uh, the stock bar ends are not large enough to allow for bar end mirrors. Uh, so there are plans in the works to get rid of the stock mirrors. Uh, they're excellent for looking at your shoulders, but maybe not so much looking behind you. Um, so definitely looking to uh, not only add uh, the bar ends, which I've already done, but get those bar end mirrors on there. Uh, secondly, uh, when I purchased the bike, it did not have passenger pegs um, or the brackets. Uh, so I opted to go for the chrome brackets, uh, the chrome heel guards. Uh, so either side, you know, it's a fairly matte bike. Uh, so the chrome definitely sticks out and complements the uh, Jardine exhaust, which I'm going to get to next. Um, so right here. Uh, perhaps the most fun and exciting upgrade that I've done to my bike is the Jardine RT1 exhaust. Uh, not so much in the performance department, but it really gives a, a colorful sound to this big thunderstorm V-twin engine. Um, so excellent exhaust, uh, sounds amazing, deep and throaty, uh, exactly what I was looking for. Um, so that really rounds out the upgrades I've done to my Buell so far. All right, so what do I think about this bike having owned it for a couple years now? Uh, in 2007, uh, I actually, that was the first time that I saw a Buell and I knew immediately that was uh, the bike that I wanted to get, more specifically the XB12 model. Um, what do I like about the bike? Uh, really, the V-Twin character, uh, it is definitely something different as far as naked style bikes go. Uh, it's very torquey, you know, it's not built for top end speed um, or the most insane acceleration there is, uh, but it's full of character. Uh, the powerful engine uh, pulls you through those first three gears. You definitely have a hard time keeping the front wheel on the ground 
that's definitely exciting. A huge rush when you pull on that throttle. Not only that, but to hear, uh, especially with the exhaust that I have, um, that deep power uh, just um, of blasting on the throttle. Uh, also handling and the twists and turns. Uh, the bike, uh, some people say it likes to sort of fall into the turn. Uh, and as you pull on the throttle, it stands back up. Uh, I find that to be particularly true, um, but I think it takes turns extremely well. Uh, it's a very agile bike, uh, again, with that centralized motor, um, low center of gravity. All around the agility of the bike, um, combined with that V-twin power, and then just the size of it uh, overall makes it an extremely fun, um, characteristic ride. The moment every viewer waits for. Uh, starting the bike up because you know what sometimes talking just isn't going to do it justice so let's just hear this thing <laughs> <laughs> 